Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the most amazing shortcut tricks from kinematics chapter. Okay? Now, look at the first problem what I've taken. They have given us velocity v is equal to 40 and they have asked us to find the distance covered by the body in in the interval between t is equal to 2 seconds to t is equal to 4 seconds. Now, whatever the trick I am going to discuss now, this trick can be applied to certain problems. Like you can see in this problem, they have given velocity in terms of time. Alright, and, and the difference between the time interval is 2 seconds. Now, suppose if they had given 5 and 7 or 6 to 8, then also we can apply this trick. Why? Because even there, the interval between the two, then the two time is just two second, right? So this trick can be applied when velocity is given in the term of time and the difference in the time interval is two second. All right. So what you have to do? Just simple. Substitute t, substitute two in the t. Okay. First four into two, then add. What we have to add? 4 multiplied, I mean 4 multiplied by 4. Why? At the place of 4, we are substituting 4. First we had substituted 2, then substitute 4. And the place of t, 4 into 4. 4 to the 8 plus 4 for the 16. 16 plus 8, 24. 24 meter is your final answer. Now, this is a shortcut trick. But if you try to solve this with normal method, normal as usual method, then you have to solve this with integration, or uh, some other lengthy method you have kinematic equation you will consume a lot of time but that is not our concern right you have to solve this in minimum time all right so let's see the next problem okay did you understand this problem first we have to multiply the first time interval what they have given this is t1 this is t2 first t1 we have to place at the place of t then t2 we have to add them both all right so next problem Imagine a ball thrown upward and it reaches to a maximum height of 32 meter. At what height velocity becomes one third? One third of its maximum height they are asking. Okay. Imagine we have a ball. Okay. We have a ball. We will throw it upward with certain velocity. Let it be. We are not concerned about it. Okay. Now this ball reaches to a maximum height somewhere around somewhere here. Around 32 meters it will be covering. Okay. Now they have asked at what height velocity become one third. Now, this type of problem, there is a very beautiful shortcut trick. First of all, write this one third. Now, focus on the denominator number. Whatever the denominator number they have given, square it. 3 square, 9. Now, with this number, just subtract 1. Subtract 1. We will get 8. Now, the lower value number will become your numerator and the higher value number will become your denominator. Alright? 8 by 9 we got this number right now whatever the height maximum height they will give they will be giving in the question just multiply with it just multiply with it you will get the answer so finally we will get something like 38.4 meters now suppose if they had asked uh, at what height the velocity will become half okay let's take half just for example half now Hold this denominator, square it, 2 square 4, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Now, 3 will become the numerator, 4 will become denominator, multiplied by maximum height. Here you go, your answer is ready. If they had given velocity at uh, uh, 1 by 5th of the maximum height, then what we have to do, 5 square, 25, 25 minus 1. I mean sorry 25 minus 1 24 now final answer 24 by 25 into maximum height what they had given in the question that's all here you go you okay let's look at the next problem in the next problem this is quite interesting problem okay now let's read the question find the distance covered in the first four second first four second when the velocity is given something like this okay now if you carefully look at this equation you can uh, imagine like v is equal to u plus at it is in this form it is in this form with this initial velocity we can write 8 meter per second acceleration acceleration 4 meter per second square and time they have given we have to calculate it 
फोर सेकेंड वॉट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट डिस्टेंस नाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स वॉट दिल डू जस्ट बाई लुकिंग एट दिस द वर्ड डिस्टेंस दिल स्टार्ट यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वेर बट रिमेंबर आफ्टर आफ्टर सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यूज इन दिस इक्वेशन अल्टीमेटली विल बी गेटिंग द आंसर जीरो एंड इन द ऑप्शन दे डेफिनेटली गिव यू दिस ऑप्शन जीरो एंड इफ यू टिक दिस जीरो ऑप्शन 100% परसेंट यू विल बी लूजिंग फाइव मार्क्स बिकॉज दिस इक्वेशन इज यूज टू कैलकुलेट डिसप्लेसमेंट बट वी आर एस्क टू फाइंड डिस्टेंस सो वी कॉन्ट यूज दिस फॉर्मूला नाउ वट इज द सोल्यूशन वट इज द ट्रिक वी कैन यूज टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ द ट्रिक और द सोल्यूशन एक्चुअली आई वुड से कॉन्सेप्ट वट वी कैन यूज इज वेन एवर यू आर एस्क टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस इन द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अप्रोच टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम थ्रू ग्राफ नाउ where you will get graph i mean where you will get the graph of the distance uh, with which you will get the graph of the distance with the graph of velocity and time the area under velocity and time graph gives you the distance okay now try to put this values in the graph we are given equation v is equal to 4t minus 8 i have just rearranged it You can understand, right? Minus eight plus forty, forty minus eight. I have just rearranged. Why I have rearranged it? Y is equal to m x plus c. Just, I mean, sorry, m x plus c. Just to fit in this equation, I have rearranged it. Okay. Now substitute t is equal to zero. If you substitute t, t is equal to zero. What we will be getting? We will be getting somewhere around here. Minus eight. We can write it as minus eight. Now, if you substitute Two in this equation. Four, four two is eight. Eight minus eight zero. So it will be zero somewhere here. One, two, three, four. So it will be here. This is minus eight. This is two. First minus eight we got by substituting zero. Two we got substituting by two. Really? No, no, no. By substituting two we got the answer zero. All right. Next we will be substituting. Uh, Again zero, again zero. Even if we substitute zero, again we'll get the same answer. So better let's substitute the time is equal to four. What we actually need? We actually need four second, right? So t is equal to four second. If we substitute four in this, four four is a sixteen. Sixteen minus eight is eight. So somewhere here, let's take this four. Let's take this eight. Somewhere here eight. What we had substituted four? We had substituted four. So we got the answer as eight. Now if we Just draw a line. If we connect these points, we will be getting two triangles. Triangle one, triangle two. I'm sorry for the shape, but actually we'll get the same shape. Okay, the the shape of the triangle of these two triangles will be the same. Now, if we add the area of these two triangles, you will definitely get the distance. But the area of this triangle will be in the negative. The area of this triangle will be in the positive. If we add this area along with the sines, proper sines, you will get Zero. That will be the displacement. But we know that the displacement, but uh, displacement is zero, but distance is not zero. Therefore, we have to add by changing its negative sign. Like first, calculate the area of this triangle. What is the area of the triangle? Half into base into height. Half. What is the base? Two. Height eight. Two to cancel. Eight. This is the area of the lower triangle. This is in negative actually because this is in a lower side. But just for calculating distance, we will be taking positive. Similarly, the area of the upper graph half. This is two. Base is two. Height is eight. Two to cancel eight. Now add this two. Eight plus eight. You got the answer. That's all. See, while solving, I mean I am explaining you right. So it's taking a lot of time. But by continuous practice just by looking at this problem you can easily answer okay just by looking at the problem you can easily answer okay now let us discuss the last and one of the most amazing shortcut trick of this session all right see they have given us a function in terms of time okay t is equal to ax square plus b now they are asking us to find the acceleration in terms of velocity acceleration in terms of velocity All right. Now let me tell you my shortcut trick. See, this is my shortcut trick. The first step of my shortcut trick is differentiate this function two times. 
टू टाइम्स डिफ्रेंसिएशन ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई वी क्यूब एंड माइनस वेलासिटी क्यूब एंड माइनस वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई आफ्टर डिफ्रेंसिएटिंग दिस फंक्शन टू टाइम्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर आंसर वॉट आई टोल्ड डिफ्रेंशिएट डिफ्रेंसिएशन फर्स्ट डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस फंक्शन वॉट वी विल बी गेटिंग टू ए एक्स प्लस दिस इज बी एक्स ओके दिस इज बी एक्स दिस इज बी नेक्स्ट अगेन वी हैव टू डिफ्रेंशिएट वाई बिकॉज I told you to differentiate two times, right? So again, if we differentiate, what we will be getting? Two a plus zero. Finally, what we need acceleration. So therefore, directly in just one step, we can write acceleration. Just multiply v cube and add minus. I told you, right? Multiply v cube and minus to the double differentiated term. You got the answer. okay now for your better understanding for your better understanding let me show you the solution to this problem which is solved in normal method in general method okay see look at this solution the same problem okay this is the same problem and have solved this in the regular method from here have started and have ended till here this is the answer we got right minus 2a v cube we got this answer but see first we differentiated time then we inversed it because dx by dt is velocity but we need acceleration differentiation of velocity is acceleration then again lot of differentiation then you have to multiply and divide with dx by dx so it's a lot of heavy stuff lengthy stuff we don't need that see in just three steps two times differentiation add v cube and minus in just two steps in just two lines we have solved rather than solving in this long manner Am I right? Okay. Let me take an another example. Okay. Suppose t they have given x cube plus b x square plus c x. Now what I told differentiate first differentiate a x square plus two b x plus c. Once we have differentiated again differentiate six a x plus two b. This is constant. Leave it. Finally, what we have to write acceleration. What we have to write acceleration. How? Just multiply v cube, add minus. Just in two steps, we got the answer. Am I right? So in this manner, we can solve most. This is this is also one of the most important question as in previous years, and this holds a lot of weightage also. Am I right? Therefore, we just using the shortcut trick, we can solve this problem in just two to three lines and just in within 5 seconds we can solve the answer okay so thanks for watching please like and share as well as subscribe it means a lot guys thank you very much